right, let's talk your forecast here. Geek out a little bit on a Wednesday morning, shall we? So glad that you're waking up with us and we're looking at a forecast here that has temperatures headed back up. That's not something we get to say very often in the middle of December, but it's certainly going to be the case over the next few days. Got to be a little patient this afternoon. Highs are only going to be near 40 degrees. Then we start to really tack on some warmer afternoons. Take a look this morning, starting off quiet. Our put in Bay Harbor view here. Thanks to our friends out at shore and islands. They've got a little bit of the uh, Christmas festivities underway here, and we're also looking at skies that are pretty clear. So we need to get that sunshine up because the last time that we had clear skies with the sunshine out, 7 p.m. last Thursday, it's almost been a week, 130 hours. Since our last clear sky report at Toledo Express Airport, and we said this yesterday, December, January are the cloudiest months of the year on average. So far, we haven't seen any clear skies in the month of December. Radar and satellite, this little weak area of sprinkles and flurries up here across central Michigan. It's going to try and keep us socked into the cloud. So it's a little bit of a race against time this morning before the sun comes up. We've still got about two and a half hours before that happens. And this bank of clouds comes drifting south out of Michigan. It's going to be a pretty close call or we'll see if that streak continues. Current temperatures with the clear skies overnight. We've dropped back down to the low 30s and upper 20s. 29 in Rossford, Northwood, you're the latest to join the under 30 club here, sitting at 29 degrees. So today we go for a high of 40 degrees. How about tomorrow? Up near 50 and then really warming up by Friday. 55 there, late shower chance still in the forecast for Saturday, but that high of 60 degrees, that would tie a record from 1952. Weather setup here takes our cool air out and then allows a southerly wind to develop for several days in a row. So before the cold front comes in late Saturday, that brings us crashing back to reality. It's also going to bring some rain showers for the middle portion of the weekend. But in the meantime, could potentially get us to another record high up near 60 degrees, so it's up, up and away over the next couple of afternoons. Could be almost 20 degrees above average for the first day of the weekend. Sunday we kind of cool down and then it's yeah, lots of upper 30s, low 40s next week. Nothing too exciting about that compared to what's on the way here in this forecast. Those shower chances on Saturday look to be the highest later in the day and on Sunday we've actually been able to take the rain chance down a bit earlier this week. It was looking like the rain was going to be a little more widespread on Sunday. It's now confined to the early hours of the day, so we might get a good portion of the weekend in dry both early Saturday and then most of the day on Sunday next week. Yeah, pretty quiet. We'll maybe see a chance for a few snow showers or flurries, but highs for the most part under quiet skies are in the upper 30s and low 40s. That's the latest on our 10 day forecast.